So all this is really just this, this basic outline. You know, these settings, there's only some that are, that are really important in your Counter-Strike game. The launch options, making sure vertical sync is off, making sure your sensitivity is right, making sure that everything with your mouse is just is nicely, just nicely, feel, nice feel when you're in-game. Everything else, visual, colors, most of that isn't really important. But like I said, just make sure the flashes are, are not taxing you while you're in-game if it's too bright. Next thing here, I'm going to open up my options menu. Just basic multiplayer settings. You got the different tabs here to go through your settings. I got player name. Start out by entering my alias in here. Got eg nothing. Put this in here. Type that in. Boom. Hit apply. Not done yet though. Crosshair appearance. That's small right now. I play on medium. Like again, preference, whatever you want. Medium for me is a nice. Uh, it's a nice guide I like to be able to see. I kind of picture the screen as like a little graph, and that's like the nice little center of it. So that helps me with my gun control, being able to see a nice solid crosshair. Next over in the tabs is uh, is keyboard. Gonna gonna make sure everything's good. I use pretty much default setup, so I'm gonna go here, hit use defaults, make sure reset everything's clean, and then I'm gonna just gonna go down the list. Got jump here first. It's at space bar. Next thing I'm gonna check is uh, that I can, nothing else bound to mouse wheel, doesn't really matter. M wheel downs my jump, really helps with my movement when I'm just strafe jumping, bunny hopping, jumping to anything in vents. So that's that. Duck control, that's good. Bring it down here, voice communication. It's bound, bound to K. On land, I like to have a quick accessible button for me to press. I use V. It's, uh, it's nice. Just double click on it, set V. But yeah, it's a really nice really nice just to have it close to you so while you're fighting you never really want to have to be like oh reach over here reach anywhere wide in this area you really just want to be able to press it right next to your hand while you're move using your uh, movement keys after that come down here buy menu set all my uh, quick switch menu items are set display multiplayer scores tab um, everything's good mouse 2 oh, I notice mouse wheel up is bound I don't like to bind that to anything so I'm just gonna hit clear key it's not a really valuable bind there for previous weapon. I got all my switches right above my fingers here on my keyboard while I'm playing. That's good. Scroll down. Flash I don't need. Drop weapon G. It's all default. I use that. Use items. Make sure that's bound. You don't want to ever screw that up in a live match. That would be very bad. Then everything else is good. Everything's bound there. I'm going to go ahead. Before I hit OK and close this, though, I'm going to go back to my multiplayer tab. I'm going to hit Advanced. This is where you kind of see a nice layout of other things you could enter in the console, but it's just really nice to be able to check all this easy. They didn't, they didn't used to have this in Counter-Strike uh, older version, so it's a quick way to fix everything. Smoke gas grenades, spread quality, best looking. All these I never really mess with. Decal time limits. It's all whatever. Buy menu, old style. I don't like I have a big VGUI menu pop up on my screen and it delays me from moving. I like to move while I buy, and because normally in the first five six seconds of freeze time, I don't want to be. I don't buy. I normally we're talking with the team, talking about strategy, discussing things like that. So I really like to just be able to move casually out of spawn while I buy. Next thing, automatically switch to picked up weapons if more powerful. I don't like that. If I ever have a deagle and I'm going to swing on a corner and there's a bunch of bodies on the floor, I don't want to pick up a gun on accident right when I'm about to shoot. So that's something I like to turn off. Center player names I like to keep on. That's a really good... I, I use it... It's kind of like a trick you could apply it to when there's smoke on the ground. You can kind of look for a name to pop up for you to just start firing and you might get a lucky frag through the smoke if you uh, shoot at the player name. Last thing here. Radar type. Solid. I always use solid. It's a big aspect of my game, the radar. And um, I really like to, with the radar, focus on keeping it so I can always see it when I'm blind, anything. If it's transparent, you can't really see the dots on the screen, so make sure that's set. I use radar all the time. Mid-game situations, I'm always taking a quick peek up there, refreshing my, my map, my, my layout in my brain, so I can make moves accordingly to my teammates. So that's good. Hit solid, hit OK, and OK. Done for the basic layout there. Next thing, going to go ahead and open the console. It's this little tilde button right here above the tab. Just bring this up. FPS max. That's the first thing I like to type in, just so it's just nice basic command. FPS underscore max 101. That's a good, uh, that's a good uh, little value for you. That's the best you could have. If you have 
vertical sync on, you'll know this because your uh, your ma your ver or your FPS rather will get max at 60. So if you ever notice that, that's a nice little key to tell if you uh, forgot to something in your video card settings. After that, HUD fast switch, HUD HUD underscore fast switch, set that to one. Enter. That's just for my quick switching on my buttons. Make sure if my gun pulls out in mid battle. Don't want any. Don't want to lock up there having to click on my mouse one just because random setting. Next thing, dynamic crosshair, CL underscore dynamic. Just hit tab after you can type DYN or something, just beginning of the of the command. Pull it up, it's at one right now. I use zero. That's basically so when the crosshair's on your screen, if it's at one, it expands while you're moving around. If you're at zero, it just stays together while you're moving. So you could really uh really just I don't know, to me it's it's like I said, preference before, another one of these things, preference. I prefer not having my crosshair bounce around when I'm aiming at people. And that's that. Next thing, rates. Rates are a big part of your CS because if they're messed up, you'll have a weird connection to the server and it might cause you to uh, just have random little mishaps while you're in game. So come back here, look at the screen again. I'm going to go ahead, rate 25,000. It's the first basic default. Need to have that set. Next is CL underscore CMD rate. Mine's at 101, so that's good. Update rate, 10, horrible. That's uh that's really low and it'll it might make your ping lower which is kind of weird how the how the command works but when it's at 101 that, that's uh proper for all the packets everything receiving sending so that's good land and online best settings right there the next thing I'm going to look at sensitivity sensitivity here default 3.0 that's mostly uh, every time you boot up a machine is at that I don't use 3.0 though I'm at uh 2.3 here 2.3 has been a sensitivity I use for a while. Occasionally when I went to LCDs, I used to think changing it to a lower value would make it more precise because the uh, hertz changes it, but it doesn't really work anymore. I don't re not really necessary rather when I'm on uh when I'm on the 75 hertz 2MS and especially the new LCDs that are coming out. So everything else is good. Now, just basically fine tuning, making sure everything else trying to think if anything else is necessary. I don't really have anything else. One thing I want to make sure I, I did, there's nothing else bound to M wheel up. In prev, don't like that. I'm going to put two quotations. That makes it completely done with the bind. So hit enter on that. M wheel up, nothing's there. My bounce, everything else is bound. And after that, I'm pretty much just going to go in game. And I'm pretty much set for everything. After that, it's whatever. And now you can go talk with your team, you're online, everything's set. The final step for this, if you are at home, you type write CFG and then write your name after it. Just a quick thing, I just write config Jordan, hit enter, and now every time you come back to your computer, if your friends are playing on it, or if it got changed for some reason, you could type, open up the console, type exec for exec, jordan.cfg, and hit enter, and I'm good. And that's basically it for the settings, guys, and you should be able to set up everything with that, maybe rewatch this a couple times, see all the settings I use, and that's everything, and uh, this has been a little EGMSI pro tip. We'll be having more on the site soon. Um, Mouse Hurts programs should be on there to download as well, so check for those. And uh, I'll catch you guys later.